About a year ago, a teenage girl had just left a youth group meeting when she came to a set of railroad tracks. Stopped there, waiting for the train to pass, she looked into her rearview mirror at the car behind her. Within she found a woman all alone and sobbing. This woman was so clearly in pain that the girl felt an immediate need to help her, to let her know that she was cared about and that whatever she was dealing with would be okay. That night at the train tracks would transform this girl's life, giving her a mission and a purpose. Her name is Nicole Pastor, and she's a change maker. I wanted to like, you know, get out of my car and, you know, like, just like, or just tell her, you know, that it was going to be okay. Whatever was going on is going to be okay. But then I had like a flash. If even just I had, you know, you are loved or you are beautiful written on the back of my car, that would just, you know, serve as like a ray of hope, a ray of, you know, sunshine in her horrible day that she must have had. She would, you know, feel a little better about it. Even if she, you know, did continue to cry, she'd feel a little better. She'd have hope. All of a sudden, it's like this spark just came to her and she started talking and each day she's like, I had an idea. What if I, I keep saying people need to know they're loved. What if I make an organization you are loved? And we listened and we, we encouraged her. And finally she said, she came to us one day and she said, you know, I've always wanted to do something. Um, and I always thought I would do it when I was an adult and after college and after I have my degrees. But I know I'm only 17, but I really think I can do it now. And I said, your dad and I agree, you can totally do it now. She says, you think so? I said, go for it. Nicole would go on to create You Are Loved, a movement that encourages its followers to support strangers in need through random acts of kindness, compassion, and empathy. You Are Loved is a um, nonprofit organization for suicide and depression prevention awareness. If you go on the website, there's a homepage which tells you, you know, you're worth so much more than what society tells you you are, what people tell you you are. You are worth like everything. There's a page on my website uh, that's a calendar, it actually says calendar, and each month we have a different mission. You write a positive saying, something like you are loved or you are beautiful on a post-it and stick it somewhere that you know people can see. Um, a popular place is bathroom mirrors. And that random act of kindness, you don't know who it's gonna affect, but it's gonna affect someone. And you're not gonna know who they are, but you're gonna make their day. And if it only reaches one person, you could have saved their life. In just a short amount of time, Nicole started seeing the positive effects of her work, not just in her school, but in the world around her. I found out about this organization and I was kind of blown away. I think at first I was a little suspicious that could this young high school girl be doing all this powerful work and then I got to know her and talk with her more and kind of got involved and invested in wanting to see it succeed. These very important issues, the two in particular, the depression and the suicide, they get bombarded by adults and by people who do what I do. Uh, officially and I think it's a lot harder to hear us than it is to hear someone who was you. She found something that was close to her and affected her and she said, you know what, this can help so many other people and she, so she started something and it just, it should inspire everyone to be a better person. Recently, Nicole's been asked to speak and participate at several youth leadership events including the 40th annual Healing the Generations Conference. As Nicole prepares for her future as a psychologist and counselor, she realizes the work she's done with You Are Loved is just the beginning. When I do things for others, their happiness brings me happiness. And you know, to see that I'm making a change in someone's life is great. And even if I don't see it, someone is going to smile, someone is going to see it. It's gonna you know, process in them. And to know I could change someone's life without even knowing them, that's a huge thing. In her mind, she's gonna to go to college and see if she can sort of spread the word on campus. And it's just one more place to spread the word. Kids come from everywhere and can bring it back and hopefully keep that whole ripple going. I'm Nicole Pastor and I'm a change maker. Do you think you know or are a change maker? Then we wanna know why. Find us on Facebook and share your story there or email us directly at changemakers at cweducation.com.